Now in section four of the fourth year, let's take transformer problem number 30. And you can see we have a system voltage 12, 473 phase four wire. We know that that's a Y system. Phase to phase value is 12, 470. Phase to ground, 7,200. From our transformer rating down below, it, we know that a 12, 470 system, we would connect this transformer Y, this, these two transformers Y. We have uh, two transformers, so we would have an open Y. It would look like this. We would ground out the common point. And of course, if we didn't ground out that common point, it wouldn't hold that configuration. Up on the secondary rating, we know that we have a one to two. That, that tells us that it's a delta connection going to be an open delta connection because we have two transformers. It's, it's a four wire, so we know one of the transformers, and that's going to be the larger transformer. We're going to ground the X2 on it. But we know that a standard displacement on an open Y open delta would be 30 degrees. That means the phases are going to all rotate 30 degrees. A is going to rotate 30. B is going to rotate 30. If we had uh, you see the other phase there, it would rotate 30. We're going to still be able to get out to that point and rotate to that 30 because we're going to have a delta low side connection, an open delta. So if, if our phases rotate 30 degrees, then our diagram down here is going to look like this. A would be here, B there, and C there. We know that we want four wire and that we want 120 volt. To do that, we'll center tap our larger transformer and that'll be our lowercase n. So that we'll end up with four wire. Here again, it doesn't make any difference which way we go with our polarity as long as the high and low side correspond. So we'll have transformer one, transformer two, the corresponding transformers, transformer one, transformer two. We'll go low number to high number. Up here we'll go H1, H2, H1s we'll put on the outside. Down below our transformer one is going east, you see, so we have to go X1, X2, X3, X1 to X3. All right. We want full value out of those transformers to get them. What we have to do is series connect the internal connections. We have three bushings. The reason we know we, have, we would have three bushings is because our transformers are rated one to two, or 120, 240. And of course, under 167 kVA would make them internal connections, see? So we'll connect these up series. Additive transformers, so we'll have H1, H2. X1, X2, X3. Ground out our transformers. Ground them out over here. Make sure your safety grounds are on there. On the high side, we'll connect up the way we've got it down here. In other words, our, our neutral and our ground and so on is marked here. Okay, we, have, we are grounding out our H2s. We'll tie those together. And of course, in this case, we have to tie them to ground. Otherwise, they would single phase out. Okay, transformer 1, H1 goes to A. We'll run that up to A. And then, of course, transformer 2 we've got over on B. And we've got our high side made up. On the low side, we'll go by our diagram again. Transformer 1, X1 goes to A. Go down, go to A. We're grounding out transformer number one at the X2, so we'll bring that and down and ground it out. Remember, our larger transformer is the one we want grounded because our lighting load, most of our lighting load is going to be carried by that larger tub. And then our X3 down here goes to B, so we'll bring that down to B like that. Over here, transformer two, X1 goes to B. 
and then we're going to come down with our X3. We're going to come down to C like that. And then we have our high side connected up. Okay, for our coil voltage now, we know that we're tied phase to ground on our 12470 system. Up here, phase to ground is telling us that uh, our coil voltage is going to be 7200 volt. So we'll put that down. Our coil current. Now we've got two different size transformers, so we're going to have two different coil currents. We'll have one at 5 point, this larger tub now, 5.2 amp, and we'll have one at 2.1. And of course on a Y connection, your uh, coil current and line current are the same, so we'll repeat that situation one at 5.2 and one at 2.1 amp. Now both of those will take, to find our fuse size, both of those will take times 1.25, so we'll have one at, uh, let's see, we'll have uh, 6.5 amp and another one at 2.6 amp. The voltages, we haven't done that yet. We want to take our voltages. There again, you want to take it off your diagram. That diagram, if you haven't drawn graphically accurate, you see it's it's easy to look at it and figure out what you'd have because each of those each of those vectors represent 240 volt. Okay? So A to our neutral, A to our neutral, 240 all the way across, so we'd have 120 volt. We'll have 120 volt. B to our neutral, there again, 120 volt. Across the center of our diagram, use the Pythagorean theorem to uh, calculate it out. That'd be our high leg to neutral. That would be 208. Phase to phase, all the way around, we would have uh, 240 volt. And there we have our connection.